In the previous video, we looked at some internet resources where you can find authentic texts for teaching reading. Now, let's take a look at how you can use various technologies to design engaging reading activities for your students. Depending on the type of activity you want to design, many different technologies are available. Journals, in particular, can be useful for all stages of reading, namely pre-reading, reading, and post-reading. One example technology would be RemNote. It is a great web-based application for taking notes or keeping journals. Students can do structured note-taking on this app to nest similar ideas or notes together. Once you're logged in, you will see a blank dashboard. You can ask your students to create a new folder for your reading course and then treat it as their journal by creating documents and storing them in that folder. Click Create in the bottom left corner, and then click Folder. Make sure to give your folder a title. When you want to create a new document in this folder, you simply hover over that folder and click the plus sign, which creates a new document. This would be a great way of organizing notes for different readings, keeping them separate, but storing them in one place, which would be your students' journals. Now, let's see how RemNote can be used to design a journal activity for all stages of reading. We will use an example article from Voice of America titled, World Health Organization Calls for the Removal of Trans Fat in 2023. For pre-reading, you can ask your students to start a new document for the reading and reflect on some general questions related to the theme of the reading in their journal. Some example questions could be, what are your eating habits like? How healthy do you think your diet is? Or, what would you suggest to someone who would like to have a healthy diet? And, what do you know about trans fat? Also, in pre-reading stage, you can ask your students to read the title and first sentence of the reading, and then write down one or two questions in their journal that the article might answer. Some example questions would be, what type of food has trans fat in it? And what has WHO done so far to fight against trans fat? Then you can ask them to take notes in their journal if they find the answers to their own questions while reading the article. You can then have a small or large group discussion on their questions once they have finished reading. During the reading stage, students can look up unknown words and create flashcards to practice later. BOA learning articles provide a glossary of potential unknown words at the end, so students can create flashcards containing those words. For example, one of the words listed in the glossary is artificially, which means manufactured by people, not created by natural process. Let's make a flashcard of this word. On RemNote, when you start typing in a document, you will notice that it is bulleted automatically. To the left of each new bullet is another plus sign, which you can click to format your text differently. In addition to typing plain text, you can create flashcards and store them in a document by clicking this plus sign. Later, you can then practice all flashcards in a document or the entire folder by simply right-clicking on that document or folder, hovering over Practice Flashcards, and then clicking one of the options depending on what you want to do. In the post-reading stage, you may ask your students to reflect on the reading by writing in their journals. For this, you may want to give your students prompts to address, such as, what is the main topic of the text? Or, what is the purpose of the text? Is it reviewing different positions, arguing a position on its own, or informing the audience? And, what is the intended audience of the text? Is it an audience of experts or a general audience? What did you find interesting, surprising, funny, hard to believe, or confusing about the text? What is there in the text that you want to know more about? They can write their answers in the document they created for the reading. As an alternative post-reading activity, you can ask students to write a one-paragraph summary of the article in their journal, then compare their summaries to see what the similarities or differences are in pairs. In addition to writing, another great way of helping students engage with the text is through a visual device 
called mind mapping. Canva is one of the greatest resources for supplying different visual templates for creating mind maps. Students can create a basic account on Canva for free, which will have what they need to design a mind map of a text. You can either have your students use available templates by searching the keyword mind map, or create their mind maps from scratch by using various lines, shapes, and objects. A typical mind mapping activity, for example, would be having students identify main and supporting ideas of a reading by placing the main idea in the middle of the map and branching out from there. In news articles, the main idea is usually stated in the title or somewhere in the first paragraph. In the VOA article, we can find the main idea both in the title and first sentence, so we put that in the middle of the mind map. Here's a more complete mind map created on Canva. This map summarizes key points of the same VOA reading. After the main message is placed in the middle box, the student can create four branches based on the main points of the article. Trans fat is unhealthy, laws against it are needed, banning it can save lives, and WHO takes action against trans fat. As you can see, each branch has a header that sums up one key point from the article and a supporting point below it. I hope this lecture gave you some ideas about how technology can be used today for teaching reading.